Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for today, July 22nd. It's Sunday. This reading is being recorded on July 22nd, um, but the timing is fluid, okay? Whenever it resonates, whenever it happens, you know it is what it is. Um, if it feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. I think today is a day of, of contemplation, okay, of being aware of your thoughts, being aware of what's most important. There's a lot of, of you know, family dynamics, what's going to be best for the family, what isn't going to be best. Um, there's also some sort of completions that are going on. I, I have already looked at this deck and a couple others because I never know what deck I'm going to use. And the Ten of Pentacles, I didn't see the card, but I saw the, I saw the meaning of it. And um, that was before I even touched the deck, the Ten of Pentacles. That's the family I'm talking about. You know, thinking about what's what's best for the family, what's going to bring the most abundance for me and the people around me, what's going to bring the me the best um, togetherness. You know, what's going to make us all happy. So the, there's a lot of thinking about the legacy of the family. You know, tens also a completion. <laughs> so then I, um, I I went and I found this deck after I looked at a couple other decks to figure out what I was going to use for today and I saw I saw the ten of swords there's a completion another completion an ending an ending a completion then I saw the world <laughs> with reverse but still I saw it that's a completion that needs to happen closure that needs to happen it hasn't happened yet the world card then one more time, you know, I opened up the deck because whatever, and I saw the fool. That's a that's a fresh new start, a new beginning after those completions. There's a need for a cycle to complete so that you can be happy. And I'm not sure what the cycle is. We're going to get into that. But somebody has been going through a very difficult emotional time. Not feeling emotionally content. We have the Five of Cups and the Three of Cups both reversed. This has been making them feel weak, causing them illness even. Bringing down their confidence... There's like a there's like a lack of of self esteem because some sort of reciprocation hasn't been achieved. Okay, reciprocation in love. It's like there's been no reconciliation, no reciprocation, and it's made somebody. You know, if you th look at this, he's looking looking down, not very happy. There's, you know, there's an opportunity to focus on something else. But you have to let it happen. You have to allow it to happen. You need to find the strength. You need to find the courage to let go of whatever this is that you've been holding on to and and I know that the readings they seem to always start out like this because people are holding on now there's no closure needed there's a feeling of emptiness with that world card I saw reversed whatever whatever that you have been betraying yourself and refusing to see is only hurting you it's only bringing you backwards Yeah, somebody's, it's like the Father of Wands. Here we have the King of Wands. 
somebody has lost their focus, they've lost their concentration, they've lost their willpower. And here, the daughter of pentacles, this is the page of pentacles, you have to find the re you have to find the focus. You have to start over again. You have to keep going. Or come up with a plan B. There's an opportunity waiting for you to see it, to accept it, to go for it. With the five of cups reversed. But you have to see it. You have to, you know, the ten. I, I really hope the ten of swords comes up because this is the ten of swords is what I I pulled out of this deck, and it's of a bull. <laughs> okay, there's nine swords in his back, and there's one soul sword right through his eyes, like through both eyes. And I know that's gruesome, but whatever. Um, and I just sat there looking at that card. And it's a death. The, 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 the bull is dying. It's the death. It's the death of what you see. What you saw. What you think you saw. Tends are a completion so that new beginnings can, can begin. So I feel like somebody has been betraying themselves by refusing to see. Now, the King of Wands is unreasonable and reversed. Unreasonable. So if you're staying in a situation in which there is really no reason to stay, but you don't have the strength to leave it, you don't have the courage, you don't have the confidence, you will continue to be unhappy. So you have to do the right thing. You need to find the moral backbone to do the right thing. That's the page of pentacles. You do. You're gonna have to you're going to have to do whatever you start over. I mean, I mean to start over, it means you might have to learn new things. You might have to do things you've never done before. See things differently. Mother of Wands. Now we have the Mother and Father of Wands both reversed. King and Queen of Wands both reversed. Ref with the Strength card reversed. Now we got a Fire sign here. You know, we also have an Earth sign, but we definitely have a Fire sign. Okay, we have Leo three times. We have uh, Aries and Sagittarius a couple times. Now... It feels as though somebody is totally lacking the courage and the confidence to follow their heart. Or they're lacking the courage and the confidence to do the right thing. Refusing to let go. Lack of faith. Now, this is totally different than yesterday. Totally, totally, totally different. The complete opposite. Now, this is for the other group of people. <laughs> oh, that's exactly what this is. That ten of swords, your betrayal. That's betrayal. You are betraying yourself from... Whatever it is that you want from coming in by refusing to see. By refusing to have faith. By holding on to something that is dead. This is holding on to something that is dead. 
It needs to be released. It needs to be let go. But there's a lack of strength. There's a lack of courage. And there's a lack of faith. Lack of confidence. When you have a new opportunity with the Five of Cups t waiting for you, it's the end of a difficult period as soon as you find that strength that you're lacking. You know, both of these cards in reverse are very egotistical. Worried about what everybody else is going to say. Your self-worth, your worth, period, is more important than what anybody else has to say. So there's a lack of faith, there's a lack of hope, there's a lack of believing in oneself. Refusing to listen to your inner guide and it's caused a lot of unhappiness. Three of Cups reversed. You may be pushing friends away. Maybe people don't even want to come around you. Because when you don't believe in yourself, when you don't follow your own path, it brings your vibration down. You're vibrating on a low energy at that point. You have to do the right thing. Even if it means starting over, going down a new path, not knowing where you're going. It's making a plan, sticking to it, and taking small steps. The death card reversed. Fear of change. Holding on. And it's getting old. You have to have the faith. You have to have faith. Somebody is trying to escape. <laughs> escape the reality. Hide it, even with addictions perhaps, or overindulging in something. Anything to not see the truth. Anything. Refusing to compromise, refusing to cooperate, 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 <laughs> cooperate with the plan, the universal plan. Lack of balance, lack of harmony, because somebody is refusing to do the right thing. Refusing to uh, let the evolvement that is going on, that is trying to happen, happen. I'm safe here. I'm comfortable here. And I will stay here even if it kills me. Because I'm so afraid to see anything else. I can't see anything else in the future and the fear of the unknown is so big that I have to stay stuck therefore nine of pentacles reversed is a lack of abundance there's a lack of self-worth. There's a lack of self-love. And somebody is staying in a situation. I don't know what situation it is. For fear of being alone. I don't want to be alone. I don't think I can do this by myself. Therefore. 
therefore continuing to stay in the hurricane, in this tornado, in the stormy weather. I'd rather stay here where it's safe than face the unknown. But I ain't happy about it. But I can pretend that I am with the temperance reversed. I can pretend like the best of them, okay? The temperance in reverse. I can fake it. Period. So I feel as though things are, are very chaotic for some of you that are, this is for a different group of people than it was yesterday. And it may resonate with some of the people yesterday, but I think this is for the, the other spectrum. There are people that are watching this that are staying someplace just because of their ego, but they're very unhappy. Fear of being alone, fear of the unknown. Lack of faith, lack of believing in that oneself, lack of confidence, big time. Total lack of confidence. I mean, you can't, you can't. And some of you, you know, you don't have to, it is what it is. I mean, some people are in so much denial that they refuse to see. And that was what that Ten of Swords was. Refuse to see. I wonder if I can find it. Hold on, I'm going to look for it real quick. But refusing to see. Probably the first card. I should have just flipped it over. Hold on. Um, no. Oh. Refusing a new beginning. Refusing the transformation. There's a transformation waiting for you guys that are watching this, that are on this spectrum. And somebody just is so scared to take that step. Refusing to listen to their inner guide. And it's funny, right next to that card was this card. Okay? It was. It was they were right there. This is this right here. See, it's right through his eyes. It's the death of what you saw, what you see. You know. What you see with your eyes isn't always real. That's your perception. You have to look deeper. You're only betraying yourself. The Ten of Swords is betrayal. You are betraying yourself by not realizing that something doesn't serve you. It's, it's a dead end. Not believing in yourself. That is the ultimate betrayal when you don't follow your own path and you don't believe in yourself. When you refuse to see. But once you once you open your eyes, you will have a rebirth, a renewal. But you have to make the move. You have to find the confidence, the strength, the willpower to stop living in denial. Now, I don't know who this reading is for. There's so much lack of faith here. Fear of the unknown. When there's an opportunity with the five of cups reversed waiting for you. A new opportunity just waiting. But as long as you continue to live wherever this is that you're at. Lack of self-esteem. Lack of self-worth. Lack of self-confidence. Unwilling to get creative. Unwilling to find your strength to listen to your inner guide your inner guide the Hierophant is your inner guide it's reversed you haven't been listening they've been talking to you but you're refusing to let go your inner guide has been talking to you you've been refusing to listen and let go I mean come on now faking it pretending masking with addictions overindulgences whatever 
refusing to let this transformation happen and happen because you lack faith, self-confidence, and self-worth. But all the while, you're losing. You're not gaining abundance by staying in this situation, whatever it is. There's no abundance here. There ain't. But maybe you think, you know, we started this out with the Ten of Pentacles. That is abundance. That's legacy. Maybe you think it's the right thing to do for your family. Right? Is that what this is? That's the ultimate betrayal. To yourself. This is unhappiness, the Three of Cups reversed. It's not happy. Three other people, they're not happy either. Nobody's happy in this situation. When you do the, it's funny, I moved this right up here. When you do the right thing, when you find your moral backbone to do the right thing, there will be a rebirth. There will be the birth of a new idea. There will be renewal. There will be healing. And then you will be abundant. Opportunities will present themselves to you when you do the right thing. The most positive cards are now together. Once you do the right thing, Abundance will come in. But something has to end first and you have, you're have you holding on to it. But you're in the stage of realizing. So I think that's what this is. When I started this out with the Ten of Pentacles, somebody is starting to realize that this needs to end. That's what's happening. afraid to be alone I am I'm afraid to, not me but somebody I'm thinking you know I'm afraid to be alone I don't want to do it on my own and you know that one of your life lessons is strength if you are afraid to do it on your own one of your life lessons is strength and you haven't learned it yet just gonna zoom that right in I'm sorry this is so long but you know somebody needs some help somebody does I can see that they do 14 major life choices major life changes need to happen 14 um, converts to a 5. Life choices, life changes, instability, let go of the old and bring in the new. That's what needs to happen. Why are you holding on to something that isn't, that isn't working, that is dead? The passion is dead. Because it's safe and I'm scared to do it by myself. On the path of life, there, on the path of life, there are deciding moments where we can choose to go with the mainstream, or we can dare to take a bolder, more authentic, and trusting way, even if it seems riskier or less safe. <laughs> this is the card. To rely solely on logic and science without incorporating the mysterious and magical is a recipe for an existence that is too far dry. It is a dry existence. 
The sacred rebel within our hearts will always choose a juicier approach to life. You are currently approaching such a choice point. You could say that the choice is about balance. It is less than choosing to honor either art or science, gardening or architecture, and more about integrating all approaches so, so that you can enhance rather than hinder your life journey. And you are hindering your life journey by staying someplace that is dead. Dry would be a better word, but it's a dead end. Place science or architecture above all else. Placing science or architecture above all else kills off the rebellious heart. Steadfastly relying on logic, proof, and a complete set of plans to measure and dictate outcomes will suffocate the soul. Oh my God. Basing decisions on limited factors, and this is the limitation right here. Okay, it is. It is. But, but you can see with your eyes. Like I said, son of a gun. Basing decisions on limited factors with an imbalanced measure of success is unnecessarily limiting. This approach prevents us from living freely, spontaneously, and will trust and with trust so that we can rebel against the need for things to go strictly according to plan. Choose to value decisions based on passion and instinct and trust in life enough to embrace it as an adventure and let it unfold as it will. There is a time and a place for logic, strategy, planning, and measurable outcomes. These are not bad tools to have. But we must be vigilant not to worship them or allow them to squash our less rationale but equally valuable decision-making tools, intuition, feelings, and those things you know without knowing how you know them, your inner guide. Mm. To remain rebellious, we must not sacrifice the art of emotion, instinct, passion, and intuition. You are being asked to stay open to the intuitive approach in your life, your work, your creativity, as well as your spiritual journey. The intuitive approach can be likened to a method of a gardener or an artist. There is a sense of what might work, where, and a loose or even detailed plan, but how the plan is carried out will depend on and respond to the flow of its surroundings. There is no need to control the situation, but rather a desire to nurture an idea to fruition. You may have pressures around you from the world or from your own conditioned nature, and this is, there's pressures, there's, there's, I see it with these cards. Okay, this is very in ego it means so many things. I'm worried about what everybody will say. I see it. It's clear. It's clear. You may have pressures around you from the world or from your own conditioned nature to do things according to the rules, to a deadline or to the accepted mainstream view. Oh, that you need a well thought out plan for success. Or venture. However, sometimes the best plan is to do what feels intuitively, intuitively truthful to you. This oracle brings you a special piece of guidance. You are moving outside of the plan. It's time. You are living on the border of what is socially accepted. <laughs> this is good. This is a fringe drilling freedom. Others might not see this about, your, about you straight away as you seem pretty normal, but that secret eccentric streak is just waiting to show itself. So I think that we have the answer. Go beyond. Do what's right for you. Follow your intuition, listen to your inner guide, and stop staying in a situation where there's no more life. There's no more life. Refusing to see it is only going to hurt you. It's only going to hurt you more and more and more and more. Don't let the mainstream 
what they think, what they think is normal, what they say is normal, stop you from following your dreams, following your heart. That's not going to bring abundance to your life. So anyway, that's what I have for today. Talk to you later.